What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sinister Cast, a podcast where I talk about music, my channel, and things going on in my life. So if you're new, consider subscribing. Now, today is kind of a special day for the Sinister Sinister Cast podcast. Um, today it, it very well might be the very last Sinister Cast in this form. Um, I know I've been telling you guys a lot lately that there's going to be some changes and stuff going on. And, uh, well, all things going right and everything lining up and everything, uh, I'll be moving. Uh, I'll be moving out of this apartment into a new one. And, uh, and, uh, with my girlfriend and yeah. So we're set to move on Wednesday next week. Um, so I'm not sure where things are going to be in terms of videos next week because we're going to get the internet set up when we move in and everything. So I should be good on that, but we have to get all of our stuff in there and I got to get set up get my whole desk situation set up again and everything. Uh, because the desk isn't, I'm not keeping the desk I have right now. You guys know the big long desk that I have right now. I'm not going to be using it because, well, we got to save space. I, I currently live in a two bedroom apartment and, uh, you know, the room's a decent size. And I think our room at the new place is about the same size, but you know, I, it's going to be our place, not just mine. So I can't hog up all the room. And uh, I'm going back to one of my old desks that I had in the a couple years ago. Um, that uh, it's probably going to be kind of nice to go back to. It's a little small. I'm going to try to look for like a corner desk or like an L-shaped desk or something like that, um, just to save on space. And I've always wanted one like that, and uh, that'll be kind of the goal. Um, so I'm not sure where videos are going to be or anything. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a tricky situation and, uh, but yeah, so this very well could be the very last sinister cast in this apartment. So take it in guys. Take it in, take it in for what it is, what it's been, what it's done for me and all the glorious hours and hours and hours of video making time that I've spent in this room. Um, so that's going to be changing. Um, so it may take a little bit of time to readjust once they get moved and everything. And, uh, I don't know what, what it's going to be like in terms of me recording music and stuff like here. I can record my live guitar, um, fairly loud because it's got thick concrete walls and not a lot of people complain. I'm not sure what it's going to be at the new place. I might have to set it up a little bit different. Um, I want to get some acoustic treatment and stuff and maybe some like uh, acoustic blankets. Sorry, I got gunk eyes. Um, but stuff to keep it kind of quiet, maybe to isolate it a little bit more. There is like a storage closet in the place we're going to. And uh, maybe I'll kind of we're going to use it to store stuff, but maybe I'll kind of use it to record things in too and like treat it that way. It's like contained and isolated and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so that's one way, but like I said, things are going to be a little bit back and forth for probably another week or two till things get kind of settled and adjusted. Um, cause I got to move all my stuff from here to there, which it's like a, you know, not very far from me, but for her to get all her stuff, it's a little bit more of a trek, um, to get all of her stuff and everything. And we just got to get everything coordinated and moved in and, you know, all that fun stuff. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced moving or anything, but it can be kind of a pain in the ass, <laughs> but, uh, this is going to be kind of a change for the better and it's going to be, oh, it's going to be so much better, but that's just, that's, I just kind of had to say something because I don't want to all of a sudden change it up on you guys. And all of a sudden have like no videos and then all of a sudden a video in a new place or anything. Uh, I always like to keep you guys in the loop and let you guys know what's going on. Um, so yeah, that's what's 
going on. <laughs> um, I, uh, uh, my girlfriend found a subleaser that signed for her, her, uh, contract, which a subleaser just kind of takes over your contract. And I found one as well. And we're going to be setting up a time today to sign papers and stuff and get it all finalized and everything. And I also have my brother and my dad coming into town to help me lug out some of my bigger stuff that I'm not going to take to the new place um, because I don't have my big truck anymore. I can't take some of the bigger stuff places and all that fun shit. It's a little bit more difficult to do that kind of thing. So that's that's news for you guys. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out what it's going to be like to record videos and stuff in the new place. And, uh, I don't know. I don't want to keep hold to the only recording videos in my room kind of thing. Like with the game of Thrones cover, I went out into the woods and did some stuff on the woods. And I kind of want to do more site recording stuff like that. Cause it's a lot more fun. You start doing stuff in your room all the time. It gets boring. And plus when you go to different places, it adds a whole new texture and flavor to the video instead of just like, oh, it's another video in this room. It just adds kind of another layer to it. And it's, it's, uh, something I just want to do more. And, uh, I'll definitely have to try to find ways to do that. But, uh, it, like I said, it's going to take a little bit of time to adjust and figure out what I can and can't do and how I'm going to do things. And all that fun, awesome stuff. But, you know, like I said, I want to keep you guys in the loop. I don't want to keep you out of it. Uh, so I can do some videos and stuff of, like, the process if you want. Uh, I'm not sure to the extent of how much I'll do that. But, uh, you know, maybe you guys want a new tour or something like that of the new place or, any, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. That's not my typical type of things that I do for this channel. It's just, I don't know. It's changing. I, I mean, in the intro for the sinister cast, it mentions that I talk about music, my channel and things going on in my life. So, you know, I get, fill you guys in on that kind of stuff. So bear with me. There's gonna, I know I say this a lot, but it's really been a hectic, hectic time. Trust me. I, I can get into a more and maybe a live stream or another sinister cast, but like Oh boy, it, it, <laughs> it's a process. Everything's been such a process. Um, but yeah, you guys are just going to have to bear with me a bit here. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In other news, after a couple of years, um, I come to a decision on something that's been a standing in the air question for me for years. Um I've shown you guys before like that I have a journal that I keep. It's like a cheap kind of journal you can get at the store. And I've always wanted to fill it out to move on to my next ones because one year for Christmas, my parents got me a big brown leather, nice blank page journal, like a, like a, like a nice one, like a premium one. And then my girlfriend got me a small one and you know, it looks like this, you know, it's got like the old style paper. It's got a wrap around it and a, you know, and this to me is an awesome size. This is the one my girlfriend got me. It's like a little black pocketbook. And I like this one and I came to a decision. So I will finish the journal that I have now. And then I'll move on to the Brown one that I have because that's like a normal journal size. That's like an actual notebook kind of size. It's a bigger one. This one, this one, I started to write in it and you want to know what I'm using it for. Well, I'll tell you, let me unravel this and open it up and take out my bookmark and I'll show you. So musical journal, uh, I say thoughts, feelings, emotions, learning, and music theory. So what I'm going to do, and I've already started is I'm going to start filling this with music theory and ideas and the process of my learning to attain a better status of musical excellence and like I've already started doing some writing in it I didn't get very far yet because I just started last night and I started filling in stuff up here um, but that's what this is going to be used for it's going to be my musical journal and so I'm going to fill that with 
Um, new things I'm learning, uh, things that I'm uh, trying to get down to, to commit to memory, uh, my thoughts and feelings about different things. Like the first thing I started writing on was the major tonality, which would be, you know, major scale, major chords, that kind of stuff. And uh, how they make you feel, what kind of thoughts they provoke, what kind of feelings they provoke, that kind of stuff. I'm going to add a, a very analytical side to it in terms of, you know, look at major scales. What makes a major scale? What are the steps? What are the notes? What are the different chords? What are, you know, all that kind of stuff. But then I'm also going to have the more qualitative side of how does it make you feel? What kind of thoughts does it make you have? Um, where it can be used, what it makes you think of that kind of thing. And I think it's going to be kind of a cool thing because it's going to be a, a, an anal uh, a chronological, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, anthology or something of my learning. And, uh, I know a good amount of stuff and I'm going to end up repeating a lot of what I already know in this journal, but it's just going to help to solidify those ideas and uh, it'll help me to think and really, really get that stuff down. And, you know, there's enough in this journal to put a lot of information. So, and it's small form factor just adds a bit of like awesomeness to it. And because it's like a nice leather kind of old style looking kind of journal, it's going to make me more motivated to actually write in to write in it because, you know, you don't <sighs> notebooks. I think I've told you guys, I have a thing for notebooks and I like different notebooks for different things and stuff like that. And like, I recently had to do a paper for a uh, class uh, on, uh, courtrooms, but I had to go into courtrooms and observe. And so I went out and bought this, a uh, little orange notebook. Uh, it's a composition notebook from the store by iScholar. I just put a piece of tape on it and called it field notes. And I didn't, whoa, I didn't fill out the whole thing, uh, because I'll probably use it in later classes or my own personal observations if I go places. But like, basically what I did is I took it in there and, I filled it with notes on what I was observing and I used it for the paper and stuff and I'll end up using it for other things. Um, but it was like less than a dollar. It was like 80 cents or something. Um, so it was nice and it, everyone else that was coming in there had big notebooks and they were having a hard time doing stuff. And I just had this small little form factor orange bright notebook that sticks out. So you know what it is. And, uh, I just like having these separate things for uses because it helps me to organize stuff and it just keeps me sane. But, oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to update you guys a little bit on those two things. Um, I'll keep you guys further updated on stuff that's going on. Uh, maybe this is the time where I'll put up more vloggy type stuff with things going on. Uh, but I'll keep you guys updated. Like I said, um, I won't keep you out of the loop and I'm going to, I'm excited for this new place. I'm excited to have it with my girlfriend. I'm excited for what it can bring and the, this whole new change. And I'm excited for this whole new journey that I'm starting with this notebook for my musical attainment of excellence. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys have a journal that you do that kind of thing with? Do you have a musical journal yourself? You think that's a cool idea? Do you like the idea? Are you going to do it yourself? I don't know. Just let me know. Um, let me know what you guys want to see about the new place and stuff like that. I can't promise anything right away. I don't know how much my girlfriend's going to want people to know about like where. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's still kind of it's in the works. So we got to get everything established first before we do any crazy shit. So just, you know, let me know what you guys are thinking and feeling about this whole thing. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm going to cut it off here. And like I always say, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, say goodbye to this apartment.